Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator, the Utah DLC, and when we last left off, we ended up in St. George, and with a couple of sleeps, I was able to find a pretty cool delivery. You saw that triple side curtain. Uh, we are going to head up north through Cedar City along I-15 past Selena. I don't know if we are going to get credit for discovering that city. We're going to go by Provo. We're going to go th bypassing Salt Lake City and ending up in Ogden at the Walmart. We're, we just got some pallets. It's 294 miles, five hours and seven minutes. We should get there around sundown. And without further ado, let's hop in the cab and get ready to go. I don't know if this, uh, if these triples are going to require a lot of torque, it did bring up the special transport sort of requirements for our truck just to make sure that we are step and ready to go. But uh, this wagon train is going to continue on. This Volvo is pretty stout, um, pretty sizable engine in it. So I don't think we have to worry about a thing with 18 gears. You know, we can, uh, we can accelerate with the best of them. So we'll be leaving the Home Depot here in St. George and heading north. Hopefully this uh, triple will behave along the journey with uh, double articulation. You can't be too careful, but it looked to be mainly highway miles, and that's what I like to see. Uh, 70 miles an hour will just blast straight through, and the job will be a good one. All right, no one coming. Let's take a nice wide arc into the second lane here just to make sure that that wagon train uh, will follow us around. It's certainly not like Australia with those big honking like 30 or 40 trailer uh, convoys that they uh, run, the land trains. But, you know, a triple is always nice to take every once in a while. Let's go ahead and get in the suicide lane nice and early to pull this thing over. Uh, we don't want to be blocking too much traffic here. Don't want to get the popo -po interested in us. And I think it might be our turn to go here shortly. Nope, the other turn lane. But I will take this time to say thank you so much for your feedback in the first episode. Glad to see uh, people are enjoying it. And I actually got a few comments uh, saying they were excited to see the Utah DLC and even one comment that said that the uh, city of St. George was a growing city, fastest in the nation. Now, I'm not sure if that's true, but I can see it. And it, that's what I really love about this series and this game is whenever I come across a city like that that I'm unfamiliar, uh, people comment who may be familiar with the area or from the area and they can uh, fill me in on some of the cool things, the, the knowledge that I don't know. So if you have anything to say about the cities along the way, whether it be uh, Salt Lake City or Ogden or anything of that nature, please feel free. The uh, commenter also said that this is exactly how the intersection uh, truly is, and it is an improvement over what they had before. Uh, so I can imagine like my own games of city skylines where I lay down a road and I think it's going to be good enough and then the traffic picks up, the traffic improves, infrastructure changes and all of a sudden it's a terrible road and you have to uh, adapt and overcome and you know lay some new groundwork. Sounds like that's what they had to do there in St. George but metal to the pedal five hours down the road we'll go ahead and get into the left lane we don't want to go to hurricane we don't want to be rocked the Grand Canyon National Park and Zion National Park. Oh, that's cool. That's right, we are pretty close to Arizona. If my uh, geography is not failing me, and it might be. I'm not going to say that I know exactly where I am, but we are heading north and we are trying to pick up speed and get up to 75. I mean, I've got hammer down, son. Uh, we need like a hill to help us out here, but we're hitting 60 getting up out of the power band. Let's just go up one gear to try to help uh, get this acceleration going. Excuse me, Charger. I'm going to be uh, coming through, good sir. Yeah, you stopped. You shouldn't have stopped, man. Although, I will say I probably could have gave him a lot more room. 80! Holy crap, we are going to be plowing through. Tell you what, I'll get up to 18th gear. I'll set the cruise for 80 and not actually expect us to reach it unless we do get going downhill. We're, we're going 70. And uh, 
That's right, see the great state of Utah at a brisk 80 miles an hour. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we might be able to cut a ton of time as we go past these cities. Luckily, um, I don't think we're going through any cities. We're sort of taking the business uh, loops around them. Uh, I can imagine Salt Lake City is a bit of a headache to get through. I actually drove through uh, Salt Lake City once in real life. Don't really remember it being too much of a headache, though. But definitely, indeed, um, drove through. So here we are at Cedar City for the next two exits. Don't know if we're going to get credit for seeing it as we are on the highway driving right on by South Main Street. There's Cedar City, second city in Utah discovered in a 75 mile an hour limit. We'll just throttle back to 75. Just one little tick on the cruise control and uh, up and over the overpass and we are flying. Uh, hello, officer. Are you gonna be cool? Okay, cool. I tell you, those, uh, at 75, coming on to an on, you know, an on-ramp, getting up to speed, that's got to be pretty intimidating stuff. Um, although, hopefully you would have people that would move over for you so you could get on the highway. Unlike me, who's king of the road in my Volvo, and uh, I move for no man. <laughs> they may have my leg, but it'll be just a flesh wound. Yeah, still passing main, North Main, a nice little truck stop off to the side. That's what I'm used to seeing uh, in, in my own travels, uh, whether it be to a racetrack nearby or something like that. Definitely seeing uh, the big truck stops just off the exit. And it looks like we have another truck here that might pee on the wheels of progress. So we'll settle in uh, behind this SUV. And hopefully they don't uh, stop, but we do see the Utah license plate. I uh, noticed that when I was driving to pick up this load. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the license plates in the last episode, but then again, uh, we weren't in Utah that deep. But we are heading up north now past Cedar City. And uh, I don't know if I, oh crap, what, what is this? Left lane close, right lane close. It just says road work. Well, what's going on? Is it left lane close? It just says road work. 55. I need to know what lane is closed, if any. Yeah, we'll set her for 55. Is there actually road work going on on I-15 just north of Cedar City? That's what I want to know. All right, we'll be back up to 75 here shortly. And we got a nice downhill section here that can help us pick up Selena and Denver, Colorado. You know, if I had to make a guess, that may be the next state that's on the plate for the SCS folks. Um, Rocky Mountain High and all that other stuff. Seeing if John Denver actually did know what he was talking about. All right, Selena and Denver, East 70. We're heading to Provo and Salt Lake City. Uh, don't know exactly how far, I guess that would be East, uh, that particular highway goes. Uh, could be SCS's patented invisible wall that isn't too invisible it's pretty clearly marked but if you do hit it you hit it a ton yeah up to 80 we shall go something about pulling over hopefully there's not a way station I don't want to break my momentum historic cove fort hmm. I wonder if that's an actual fort that was uh, used in the the Western Times, maybe, uh, I don't know, did the Mexican, Mexican-American War make its way up to Utah? Or was it just mainly in Texas? I am not sure. I like history, but little things like that I can't remember for the life of me. I'm sure a quick Google search would uh, tell me everything I need to know, but I'm driving. And I'm a responsible driver. I'm not going to be looking at my phone while we cruise down at 75 miles an hour. I'm trying to get up to 80. Yeah, it does kind of have an Arizona type feel. Sorry, Tesla. I've got a big honking thing. I've got a triple. There we go. Now we're starting to get up to speed. It's a little bit tighter than uh, I would have assumed. You can sort of see that trailer 
in the mirror, sort, <clears throat> sort of poking out and leaning to the side. And we got a bus and a slow poke blocking both lanes of traffic. Outstanding. That's what I like to see. Tell you what, bus. Hey, tour. Take a look at what my trailer is. Take pictures. Lots and lots of pictures as I pass you with a triple. But yeah, nice open country. A little scooch on over here. About three hours to go, 166 miles, and at 80 miles an hour, we'll chew through it quick. Much quicker than California, that is for sure. Delta! I don't... Is Delta a name town in this DLC? I read off all the towns in the last episode, but I can't remember if Delta was among them. Oh, hello, Tesla. Nice of you to uh, pass. Get your battery foot to the floor. And another bus. Tell you, buses are peeing on our wheel of progress. The Scipio. I wonder if that was named after Scipio Africanus. But yeah, we are making him cry. Uncle, take a look at that. See ya. That's why I like to see. No need for uh, rest, no need for fuel. We can just bypass on everything. Exit 188, 188 miles into Utah we are with 140 to go so just over halfway to our journey um, we are blasting through four or five cities and there's still a few more cities to go after this if we uh, call it a series oh crap that thing is leaning if we call it a series after you know once we get the achievement to see every city although I may um, if the the want is there actually go into these cities that we have blown by at a very quick speed now see that's a river that's what I'm talking about when I think river that's what I think of not the puddle that we jumped in the last episode excuse me General Mills I know you're delivering delicious cereal but we have pallets to deliver and yeah pretty open expanse like this is uh Kind of reminding me of like Arizona or whatnot. Hello, auto parts. The Fapa auto parts? Papa? Papa auto parts? I don't know, but it's a junkyard. And uh, this turn looks awful sharp. Yeah, I was going to say, 65. Might not be a bad idea. Just encroaching on it on the map, it just looked sharp. We'll be in the outside lane so we don't take the sharper radius around, but tell you go on ahead Cadillac do your thing oh we're down to 75 we can do that 98 degrees Fahrenheit that would certainly be nice about now uh, right where I'm recording this at it's 18 degrees with a zero wind chill and we got our first snow of the season just yesterday and getting to work was fun speaking of getting to work Take a look at Eva bringing in $6,200. Once we get up past Salt Lake City, I may buy a garage. And that was a massive like rest area. Kind of reminded me of a distribution center. But another garage and another five trucks running through Utah is uh, not a bad deal. And another thing that I noticed with the last patch, let me show you. Whenever we go to the driver manager, now on the map, we can see where all of our drivers actually are. So there we are, passing Provo. We've got Price, Moab, or we got Freya, we have Carla, and we have Sophie up here in Utah with us. And we can sort of see our network. Poor uh, Scarlet is the only one in New Mexico out there in the middle of nowhere. We have a few around LA, our base, and uh, all the way up north to Monica uh, driving to Portland. Now, I don't know if if I track down these drivers, would we see the actual truck on the road? I think that was supposed to be a thing. But for science, I might uh, experiment with that. Maybe just follow one of our drivers. Just make sure they're on the up and up, you know? Just be undercover boss. Sort of just, you know, follow them on their journey, see if they speed, see if they're nuts, that sort of thing. And I just bought 
the basic trucks for them, just plain white Peterbilts, because, uh, you know, it, it didn't matter. You never saw them. You just, you know, stuck with the cheapest and you were good. All right, so that answered my question about Provo. We passed it, but did not discover it. So we will have to make our way down to Provo in this series. Um, but now if the trucks are going to be seen and they are like legit, it might be cool to come up with a, a Saka transportation skin that we can throw on all the trucks. So as we pass them, we can say, yes, that's our truck. All right, north to Salt Lake City, another hour to go. And uh, it does feel like we're getting um, closer to civilization with those power lines running. I don't know how much of Salt Lake City we are actually going to see as we're going through I-15, kind of off to the east side of Salt Lake City, I believe. Let's go to the outside view. Now that's a road. Yes, take me to 10,600 South, please. That's exactly where I want to go. Kind of a tight turn there. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Now that's another possibility that they can uh, do, Wyoming. Wyoming would be pretty easy. You just uh, make a flat plane the size of Wyoming. You put down one road from Cheyenne, uh, run it out west, and uh, you're done. So I imagine the Wyoming DLC would be fairly quick. I kid. But the one time I drove through Wyoming, that was my, my feeling as I was passing through. Hello, Susan bringing in another seven grand for us. Salt Lake City is over ya. So we will not get counted for driving through Salt Lake City, but Ogden should just be around here, 41 minutes away, not too bad. Uh, we don't want the right here, but we do want to start making our way to the right, just in case uh, this thing branches off and we need to, to, uh, to exit because Ogden didn't look that far away from Salt Lake City. And considering how we're pretty much uh, east of Salt Lake City right now, and in fact, it's actually telling us to get into the right lane here. And uh, how we do, 28 minutes. So we passed Provo and Salt Lake City. We're going to have to come back down to discover those cities which is fine with me. Hopefully Ogden has some different uh, things going perhaps east and we're taking Riverdale Road, it seems. So I'll just back her down here. An unexpected event. Well, I won't manually adjust. I'll just let the... Yeah, everything has come to a crashing halt. We have to go to the left. So that takes us from 16 minutes to 39 minutes. It recalculated us to the next exit. So thankfully Ogden has a few exits up its sleeve. Otherwise, uh, driving all the way to the frickin' border of, what is above Utah, Wyoming? All the way to the Wyoming border? Yeah, no sir, don't wanna do that. But we'll be sure to hit this. And we got discoverable, so not all bad. Life gives you lemons, you make discoveries. All right, so here we go, the port of entry, a mile away. We was going to come down, uh, the, oh crap. This is literally gonna be drive up, hit it. Oh, nice, we discovered it through the wall. That's what I'm talking about. So we discovered the, oh, and a vehicle inspection. Of course, let's just make this last forever. I'll tell you what, one detour and it all goes to crap. Well, I'm going around, good luck. Cause that Camaro was trying to merge and not doing a very good job. And this place is pretty desolate. All right, let's see how much we weigh. 123,800 pounds, very nice. And literally all we're gonna do is take the next exit, turn around and then come back down the highway uh, that we are just on. And I bet we'll have to stop at that way station too. We don't break their eye contact, but they're like, you know what? 
you could have met somebody uh, at the top of that Keep right that exit. exit right. All right, so we'll get on 1100 exit South. Right. And then we'll be making a left turn right over where that bus is turn left. to Travel Plaza. Got a stop sign here, but I don't think anyone's going to be coming. Yeah, nothing on the right. Nothing on the left. Let's swing her wide for our wagon train. And it's a massive Exit breach left. of protocol. But I'm going to start my left turn over here. Eek. Be cool now. Okay, we cool. Down pit road. Here we go. Let's get up to speed. See if we can hit 70 again. I knew it. That's right. I picked up a space shuttle on the overpass. Oh, crap. I won't pass inspection now. I'll tell you what. Welp, all's well that ends well. It's a good thing this was not a rush job in which we only had like a few moments to get the load there. Because this derailed us pretty big. It added another 20 or 30 minutes to the travel time. And then stopping for these scales. Yeah, not a fan. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully that dump truck can get up to speed and get out of our way. I know I'm breaking the speed limit, but as long as there's no cop driving on the highway, we won't get caught. And there is a runoff lane. That is excellent. We won't have to stop. We can just keep on trucking. And I think we need to be in the right lane anyway, because uh, we need to make an exit back into the city. Riverdale Road. Yeah, I imagine that's where we were going. Obey the speed limit. Right. I'm trying. We can't even right. barely get up to the speed limit. But we are taking the right turn. Exit right. And it looks like this, uh, the beef truck is doing the same. All right, and it looks like a right turn at the top of the hill. So we might as well just mind our P's and Q's and settle in line. But what an interesting journey this has been, passing by uh, one city that we did get credit for, two cities that we didn't get credit for, uh, got a detour, couldn't take our exit, had to go around, get weighed, and then we picked up a space shuttle on top of the overpass in which we had to get weighed again. Exit right, and then exit right. But Riverdance Road, here we go. Exit Hopefully we don't have to follow this guy all the way into town. That's one thing that's really realistic about American Truck is, okay, good. You run into like trucks on the highway and they're going slow and you want to go around them. And you think, I hope I don't have to follow them all the way. I'm YOLO, excuse me. I was supposed to yield, but meh. All right, so it looks like we have some sort of travesty sharp turn just on the other side of those lights and I don't like it especially if this U-Haul is going to be next to us hello sir I see you down there I promise I won't run this light because I have to get my life figured out on how I'm going to make an acute 45 degree turn I mean, that is nuts. All right, let's roll. Let's see what we got here. 45 is the limit. So we will mine that. We're heading down there in the forest. And that's our turn. Okay. Keep let's set right, this up. It looks like we may right. be able to drive pretty well straight. And we got the green. Right. Well, crap. That's going to short us. Oh, we don't have the green. Okay, what light is mine? Is that line mine? Whose line is it anyway? I think that light's mine. That red one. I mean, we can go on red. All right, let's go as forward as possible. Swing it. Cut it. Cut, 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 cut. 
almost jackknife this thing. Thankfully, there were no other cars oncoming because that was on the level of redonkulous, I say. But we're here in Ogden. Very small town, it seems. And we're going right back there. I tell you, this, this episode should be called Over the River and Through the Woods. Because we're freaking driving all around where we shouldn't be. No wonder they're paying, I mean, decently for this job. Could we have made a left and then another left? I don't, I don't know the city. All right, we'll continue on straight and do what the GPS tells us to do because I think that would be a shorter route. And if this is an overpass, we would save ourselves a lot of trouble by actually following the GPS. All right, so, moment of truth. Is this an overpass, or could we have shorted it? I think it might be. Keep right nope, there's the intersection. So, yeah, we, we could have made the left turn. Ah, uh, well, you live and you learn and you get loves. All right, so we'll be going straight to the sell goods. Walmart distribution center is, like, over there. Was this a left turn only? Yeah, it was a left turn only. Excuse me. I'm new. Keep left. I don't know how roads work. All right. Left turn. One thing about it, though. Once we do arrive at the Walmart distribution center, uh, it should be a straight pull-in because we're bringing a triple. And the game doesn't let you try to manipulate a triple-wide parking job, that's for sure. I'm not going 15. 20 is enough. I tell you, I feel like we're going to get murdered back here. This is definitely like an industrial area, though. It's got that feeling that, like, this is where things are delivered and transferred to the place where things are made. This is definitely not a place where an everyday person would go. Especially late at night. All right, past the little train tracks. Looks like it's going to be on that side. This is an actual store. Are you kidding me right now? Who goes shopping back here? Yeah, let's go to the train yard. Tell you what. All right, so let's make this turn as wide as we can because we're pulling straight in right there. Should be nice and simple, real respectable like. It's all over, it's all over Lawbreaker. Your drive is at an end. All right, let's just not blow the end, shall we? Because if we overshoot and have to back up, then that's the end of us, as those trailers decide to go everywhere. It's like stand. Booyah, park it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, was an interesting journey. 314 miles, five hours, 11 minutes. Use 71 and a half gallons of fuel. Looking at our leveling skill, we did three chunks. Uh, we need to do that one, two, three, four more times, and we will have gotten every single perk. So in the next episode, we can take a look at the job market. It's four o'clock, I'm going to get some sleep. But we will be coming out of, brr, brr, brr. we'll be coming out of Ogden. Now we have Vernal going east that might not be too bad and then the rest is uh the rest kind of sucks so we might go right for that scraper and uh head on some mountain paths it looks like definitely another over the river and through the woods on a sunset drive so that might be pretty interesting um for sure so i'll go ahead and save it here and we will see you for the scraper delivery heading out east but that will do it for me like share and subscribe if you are so bold thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you for the next american truck sim video utah dlc take care